bomb of choice is berry cocktail. So there was three quarters of one there, or slightly under. And I've got a mountain of really fluffy bubbles. I actually couldn't wait for it to finish running, so I actually got in it whilst it finished. So now I'm surrounded by bubbles. But berry cocktail is this absolutely gorgeous deep pink colour. Gorgeous. So if you've not tried yours yet, this is what you've got to look forward to. Lovely dark pink. It smells nice. And of course, my favourite, the fluffy white bubbles. I just realised I had a pink bath on Saturday. If you watched my video, I used my bubble truffle scoop by Lavana. I also put a little bit of raspberry butter bowl, Ritalin and a tiny bit because I'm dying to get hold of the bath bomb. So yeah, it's funny because I was going to use Peonies from Heaven, which is also a pink one. But then I you thought... something you've already got on the go. So what I've currently got on the go is I've got a Sakura on the go, obviously. That's my favourite. I've got the millions one um mil it's the dollar bill one i've got that on the go but that's quite crumbled up um what else do i have on the go oh i have a goddess on the go so it was either going to be berry cocktail or my goddess but i love my goddess so do we have two goddesses i don't know I know I bought one initial when they did it again. Oh, have they done it again? Oh, doesn't matter. Um, I hope I've got a second one. It's brilliant. Um, I don't know if you, if you didn't watch me do that one, mate. And I'm not even joking, the bubbles from a third was a good six to eight inches high from a third. So if you like a really, really bubble bath, like loads of bubbles, definitely get next to restock. I was blown away that a third of one did that. Whereas this one, this is like three, four inches high. It was like, they were like coming out of my bath, they were that high when I got in it um, from the goddess one. So definitely if you're really into bubbles, get the goddess. And it can be cut into three, it's, it's really thick. Or you can do two. I do two mainly oh, size ones, but even the normal size ones like Sakura and Ultraviolet, you can get three if you really want to stretch it out. Um, you still get a lot of bubbles, you get the colour, you get the scent, so you're not missing out. So don't it's feel like one or got... two goals. If you want it to last longer, you could definitely get three out of the standard size one and the Goddess potentially four if you wanted to. Just depends on what you want to do. But I'm a big fan of the bubble crumpets and I'm waiting to get my my bath bombs this week. I'm really excited about them both. I'm going to use bones first, hopefully. Let's start the week up before I forget because it's actually Monday. I've been sat here for about 40 minutes. Um, yeah, just been at my doctor's surgery. And I saw two doctors. It was so, um, like I knew I was seeing two because this was booked a few weeks ago. Um, and it was so surreal because I was with a doctor and then she got the other doctor to come in. And I felt a little bit like scared and intimidated by them both because separately it's fine. Like I feel super comfortable around my doctor and that's one of the reasons why I have her as my doctor and why I trust her in the most ultimate level you could trust anyone. Um, but it was just a bit like, and then this other doctor was doing something and then my doctor like started talking to me like mid conversation because it went really quiet and I'm like, and it was so weird like, because we were in my doctor's office, it was so weird that she was sat at the other side, like I was sat, it was like, my god um yeah but um <laughs> my doctor's amazing i'd totally like be lost without if i had to get a different doctor she's just the other doctor's lovely as well but i'm just 
I'm blown away by my doctor and I know we have our ups and downs and she upsets me and I probably annoy her but ultimately she's she's amazing um I have cried about this I'm not gonna cry I'm gonna stop talking about my doctor but I'm just about to go in the shop um I need the toilet but I'm gonna make I don't oh this is the worst one to go to the toilet in so I'm gonna have to hold on to it I keep thinking I've had my tolteridine today do you know the one that stops me from going because I shouldn't really need to go but I'm sure I had it this morning who knows one day I took three by accident <laughs> I definitely didn't go off in that day anyway um you would have seen I've done a daily which you would have gone up on Sunday I started editing it today in the bath which you would have seen before this um yeah I did want to try and get a video up tomorrow but it's not looking likely because I've just been wasting time sat here when I could have been filming but the only thing I could do would be a sit down video but what do I want to talk about? Not what's in here that's for sure because my doctor's amazing. The end. Anyway I'm going in the shop. I'm going to quickly run you through what I got from the shop. I know I haven't got what I went for. I don't even know what I went for so... I'll probably remember afterwards and it'll probably be something I wanted today so I got some eye cream this is what I used for good well, I think I picked it up for the first time like 18 months ago slightly longer but I've not used it recently I'm using a Nivea one which is nowhere near as nice um, and I can tell I'm like aging a bit more around the eyes and a good night cream will not stop it but it'll stop it from doing it as quickly so even though this isn't my die, like my go-to like holy grail one, I would give it a good eight out of ten, seven and a half eight, and the one that I'm using is probably a six. Like, if someone like younger than me who's never had an eye cream before would get on with that one really well, this is good under makeup. But I'm going to use this at night time and use the other one that I've got as day until it's run out, and then hopefully this will stay on offer or there'll be another offer and I can keep getting it. Cucumber, paracetamol. Sarine, these are good as well. I like to snack on these. Sometimes if like I'm rushing out without any food, like I've not had lunch today, I was a little bit nervous about that appointment I've just been to, but yeah, my doctor just has blown me away. I was with two doctors in case I didn't mention. And it was just like, wow. I'm just yeah. Anyway, could have done with taking something like that and I've probably got one. Um yeah. I need to sort that dry actually. Anyway, coleslaw kit, I like them in the freezer. Take a handful out, like six or seven, and suck on them. They're lovely when they melt in your mouth. They're on offer, so I pick them up. I'm gonna have that now, finally. And this was on offer. Well, I don't know if it was on offer, it was just three pounds, but I'm presuming based on what I've seen, method priced at in Tesco, I reckon this is gonna go up to about seven pounds. So it smelled amazing. I don't really need one. I did have seven on the go not too long ago and then I went down to one and then I had none and now I've got a Spring Awakening by Lenore which is nearly run out and my favourite which is Ruby Jasmine and there's loads in that so I've got this one to go with my collection and that's all I've got. Got this a few weeks ago, got maybe longer and I've been waiting for the right time to burn it so tonight it's coming out of its box and I'm about to light it as well. It's in the scent Tropical Watermelon and I can absolutely smell it. I'm not even with it. It's just so mouth watering, lovely. I love a new candle. So I'm going to have a bath bomb today and I've gone for mermaid tail. I'm working my way back so anything that's dated nearer to now I'm going to use. So I've got two for September. 
I've got Mermaid Tail and Coconut Butter Bowl. It's September. I think the rest are October, November. Then I get onto the new packaging. So for today, fancy a little bit of blue. This is one of my favourite scents. So Mermaid Tail. It's old school Mermaid Tail with a shell in it. I haven't actually tried the new one yet. I've got two of them. They're absolutely stunning to look at. But yeah, I'm on the old school one. How stunning is the water afterwards? I just adore the blue colour and it's not showing up how vibrant blue it actually is but I just adore the blue water that comes with this bath bomb. I love it. There is a shell somewhere in the bath. She's beautiful. Yes, she is. Yes. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Oh, what's wrong? That's my gorgeous girl. Hey, gorgeous girl. Yeah. Hey, YouTube. I'm Cleo and I'm beautiful. He's not home. She thinks my dad's home. He's not. And he kisses. He kiss. Actually, she could actually be right. I've got a new t-shirt on today, but I got this made to order. If you don't like me and you watch everything I do, bitch, you are a fan. I had it underneath a, t a jumper that um, I bought as well, and it says overthinker in curly writing. You would have seen it in a vlog, kind of. So I had that on top of this because it's, it's raining, but it's humid. So when I got home, I was like, I'm a bit hot. Um, been with my doctor then I went to two shops and I've also picked up my prescription as well I need to put my shopping away and I hope it isn't my dad that's home because it would be early for him but I wouldn't be surprised if it was him lovely toilet rolls behind me Um, yeah I did another good appointment like I saw her yesterday I saw two doctors yesterday she was one of them but yeah it's a good appointment got some medication and my mouth got really dry at the end and you know when you're talking you're like, you're making loads of noise when you're talking and then I came out and drank a bottle of water like I drank a third of it it was only half a litre bottle and I drank it and I'm, just, I'm still thirsty I've had a, a Pepsi Max cherry as well hello what you looking at she's looking at me oh gorgeous I'm gonna see if it is my dad is coming out. This one hasn't bloomed. The pigeons keep eating the leaves. Little shits. So I'm going to quickly show you what I got from B&M. So I picked up this candle plate and it's like an oblong one. They're quite old. I normally get the round ones but I've got two of them now so I wanted to get this because on my coffee table I've got a round one and I typically put a candle that I'm using that night my candle and uh, my tea light burner that my friend Helenka gave me and my tea light holder and I've been squeezing another candle on but then I have my other candles behind so I thought I could just put on 
three or four candles on there and it was only 2 .99, so a little bit of a bargain. Picked up two packs of these last week and two of them had smashed glass in, which I didn't realise until I opened the pack and picked it up and cut my thumb. Worst place to cut is your thumb, you know the under part of your thumb, like the, is it the palm? Because um, it makes it difficult. So I picked up another pack, I didn't take them back because I didn't realise I was going to be in them and I hate taking stuff back. Picked up these Surf 2-in-1 capsules in Coconut Bliss. I got the uh, Method Coconut, Tropical Coconut um, Softener yesterday. Conditioner, softener, whatever you want to call it. So these are to go with that. Because my furry liquid, not washing up liquid, but the furry washing liquid, is about to run out. And I needed to replace it and it's not on offer anywhere. And I do like a bargain. So I just picked these up for 2 99 because there's 20 washes. So... Yeah, I'll probably end up opening these before I finish off my um, furry just because I'm dying to try these. In fact, I'm probably going to ban my dad from using these because sometimes he does his own washing or sometimes he puts it in with mine. So I'm going to be like, just use the furry. In fact, I've still got some of the Surf 5 in 1 herbal one that we used to use. There's still some of that left so we can use that. He's, you can only have these if his washing's in with mine. Two bottles of Cherry Pepsi Max and that's it. So from the shop, I'm very excited to get these. So every now and then, this one pops up on Instagram, but they're not sold in many places. I mean, that might be changing because this was in the supermarket. So hopefully, I was convinced I saw them in that shop the other day. And then I went back and I couldn't see them, but they're on the bottom shelf. So that's probably why I didn't see them. So I initially spotted this and I thought, oh, where's the pink and blue one? And there was a big gap next to it. So I got down because it was on the ground, like on the bottom shelf. And right at the back there was one. So that's for flower burst, which typically isn't a scent I go for. But this is sea breeze, which is my top type of scent. I just liked the pink and blue. So I picked up both, even though potentially that's one I'm gonna like, but I might be shocked. That's clearly pink. So I'm gonna give them a try. In fact, when I stop filming, I'm gonna go and get changed. So I will try one. This is in the Asian chilled section. There's two other ones, but this is the best, and it's not fizzy. It always confuses me when I drink it why it's not fizzy. I got these instant noodles because it was a two pack for a pound, and it looks kind of similar to the ones that I used to get from B&M. Do you know they're in a red pa packet? Well, they're in a red tub, bigger than that, and they're a pound each, and they're to die for. So I picked these up because there's two for a pound, but I don't think they're going to be as good. So... If they're not, I'll just pick up, like I've been being them today and I didn't think of getting one because I've not had one for a while. But I'd, I'd also already picked them up. So I get the milk chocolate version of these and they're to die for. And the creamy caramel ones and another flavour that I've never had that I didn't really want was on an aisle that they're not in, basically. And I picked them and I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. And then I went on the aisle that does them. And they had creamy coconut, they had dark chocolate, which I knew and I don't like. They have um, a vanilla one, which is to die for, and there was one other. And I've got these to try, because while they're on offer for a pound, which is like 45p off, I'm going to give these a try, and if I like them, I'm going to put a couple of packs up of each, just to save a little bit of money, because I do spend up too much money. I've got lamb patties, also the long life, you can have them in the cupboard. I keep them in the cupboard, and then I have like one or two in the fridge, so I have them when they're cold. So there's always one in the fridge and I hadn't had them for ages and then I got the milk ones a couple of weeks ago, the milk chocolate ones. So I think there's one left in the fridge. I picked up a lamb patty, these are at the chilled Asian section. The 77p, they do the beef ones, they do vegetable and I think they do chicken, no it's pork, but the lamb ones are the best. And for 77p they're amazing. Got some paracetamol. I got the teriyaki chicken last week and it was gorgeous. So they're still on offer, I think they're 150 or 120, yeah 125 instead of 175 so I picked up the beef to try. This is like the chilled polish section, had it before, it's gorgeous. I got the light and the light mayonnaise, I normally get the light one but this one was on offer for a pound. And I picked this up because I was talking about these to someone today and I said I've not bought any in ages. And I weren't going to buy any and then I saw this on offer for 325 or 275 so I'm going to put this behind the front door. This is my favourite scent. I normally have one behind the front door, one behind my TV, one 
on the landing just outside my dad's living room one in my dad's living room and one outside my bedroom and then last time I just had one in my dad's living room one behind my TV one behind the door um, but I, I miss having something behind outside my bedroom so this is for behind the front door and I'm gonna next time if it's still enough I'll get one for outside my bedroom and I might get one for my dad's living room because it always smells in there not joking um, but I only get them when they're on offer. I typically used to pick them up from B&M, but I've not looked at them or really noticed them lately. Um, I think they're more like a winter type thing, but yeah. And I also got the Quaker Super Goodness Nutra Boost Oats, Barley, Quinoa, Flaxseed, Apple, Raisin and Cinnamon. Sound amazing, but I got a through that world of bloody um, stuff the other week and it's bloody full in there. Well, it's not too full, they'll fit. So I've just been to the shop and I've picked up this. Don't know what I quite want it for. It was just because it was two pounds I got it. Because at four pounds they're quite expensive because you can buy the normal pocket pads for two pound online with free delivery. Sometimes they're two fifty, but I thought this might be good, like um, for video ideas or blog post ideas, and like it can all be separate. Because I do write um, video ideas and blog post ideas in the notebook, but this could keep it separate. I don't know. I got some filtered milk, paracetamol, two handle plates. I don't know if they're big enough to fit on any of my jar candles, but I'll give it a go. Paracetamol, which I actually needed at the time. I should have left half of the strip, half of like a strip in the car, but I forgot. So I got loads of ibuprofen, but not any of these, and I needed both. So I've actually got to go back out to my car because I've left my drink in there. So I'm going to leave the open strip in there, so there'll still be six in the car. I have one of these in yellow and grey. And I like it, but when I saw this, these are nicer, so I might get a couple more of these. I need to get a rid of a few glasses, but I think these look quite classy. I've obviously been to the doctor's. <laughs> um, not for an appointment, my doctor wanted me to drop something off. So I dropped it off and got a couple of sample bottles, because every time I'm sick, keeping a sample and I'm thinking, what the hell do they want me to take it in? Luckily, I always have some in. But I know I'm getting low, so I've topped them up. Okay. I've got the happiest of the happiest posts there is to have from my favourite House of Ashes, and it's been a few weeks because there wasn't a restock for a few weeks, so it makes it a little bit more special this week because I had one. So, as always, I've not even looked in the box, I've just on done the tape so we're gonna get to witness the beauty that we're going to live in together <gasps> look at that that's the one i've been looking forward to the most schools look at that i know it's reflecting the light a little bit i'm gonna leave that beauty till last because i'm i'm really excited to buy that one so first off in the shower just before i'm getting out so i step away from the water it's one of my favorites I think this is the third one that I've got. And I've got the Lovers, which is Parma Rosa and Patchouli. I think my last one was that. These are absolutely amazing. And I use it where I want to, basically. Because I'm suffering from dry skin at the moment, I do tend to stick to those areas, mainly on the side that's not got the massage bits on. The okay. massage beans are there. Um... It's good for circulation. I use it all over, but as I said, the drier areas, I do tend to put more of that on. And then I don't go back under the water again, and then I get out dry, and it leaves a layer of beautiful oils. It's got shea butter in, cocoa butter, coconut oil, as you can see. It's brilliant. This is my third. I probably should have ordered two, because they're absolutely amazing. I've not tried them. It is one of my favourite items. Then... We've got this beauty here. The Flaming Sunset. Oh, 
I always forget the names. Let's take a minute for the new labels. How stunning is that? So not only do we know what it is, because I always forget the names. It's now got the ingredients on it as well. So that is absolutely stunning. These are limited edition, I believe. I never personally buy more than one or two of limited edition because I like everyone to get a chance to pick up one. So I just got one this time because I still have quite a few bubble crumpets. But this is absolutely stunning. I can't remember what the scent is, so I'm going to smell it in a minute. Then we're on to these absolute beauties. We've got, we've got the Hamza Hand, which I'm going to look at first. Absolutely gorgeous purple colour, which I love. And I like that they're calling them bombshells as well. Bath bombs, bombshells. Again, ingredients from the back, expiry date, batch number. And it's gorgeous. Really nice size as well. Too big and it's not too little. So we're on to the one that really excites me. This bad boy is going to be used tomorrow. So I am really excited it right today. And it's a lot bigger than I thought. Look at that. Now that is a beauty. Can you see the little bit of silver glitter on it? Absolutely perfect. This is Bones. I actually remembered the name for once. And again, I love the new labelling system. The package now. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. But... I'm going to get that out in a minute and smell it, but I think it's lemon sherbet, I think. But how stunning is it? Excites this me one. massively. I know the hands of hand does as well, but I just love that. It's definitely going in the bath tomorrow. We'll in a minute. Probably when they tell me, it'll probably be like, oh yeah. But it is gorgeous. I just, the scent just thrown me totally. It's absolutely pretty to look at as well. Look at it. it. Reminds me of flower power. That is love spell. Absolutely gorgeous. I do love hands of hands. I love the colour. And yeah, it is a beauty. And then look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it is a lemon. I think it's lemon sherbet. It is so refreshing to smell like it's made of water. Absolutely beautiful. And as I said, that is 100% going in the bath tomorrow. And I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to see what it does. I am over the moon with all of these beauties. This is not actually picking up how shimmery it actually is. Can you see that? That's a little bit better. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. My favourite, I'm not going to lie, to say. look at it is my favourite. It's a lot bigger than you would imagine. And I'm nowhere near it, like I'm moving backwards and I can still smell the citrusy lemon scent. And I love citrusy scents if they're done right. And done that right. is done. If for some strange reason you haven't tried House of Ashes yet, definitely give them a go. If you don't have a bath, they do shower products, they do shower whip, they do soaps coconut salt and I've been using that I need to replace it on the next restock it's very nourishing and moisturising and exfoliating all in one and there's the massage bars, there's the facial serum which I use every day I do my makeup because it's the perfect price so don't just think they're about bath products because they've got so many amazing products I own every single one of them because I'm a fan and I do genuinely use their products every single day and well done Lou and Lenka because you've told Ooh, little cuties. Hello, YouTube. My name is Cleopatra. And I'm just lying on the stairs because this is what I like to do. Because I'm a cute little doggy. Well, I'm not that little. Here is my little princess. Another princess. I wish you could talk because I think you'd be funny. You'd give me attitude, wouldn't you? Because you're a little attitude dog. There you go. Beautiful. Mm. I love you, choppies. 
Oh yeah. So here we have him. This is Bones and he smells absolutely gorgeous. I walked in the room and I'd left it out of his packet. And actually before I got to the room, I could smell it. Strong and beautiful, it's scented. So now's the moment of truth. I'm gonna be putting it in the bath. Cut the fizz. Let go and he is, he is floating. Look at that. The smell is insane. That is beautiful. Now look at all of that. It's literally almost reached the end of the bath. I've never had a bath bomb feel so much space up. In fact, it's strong. And this has been going for a good four or five minutes now. So it does do a lot. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like when I put my hand in the water, you can feel it. Oh, I don't know what's in that. Look at my hand. It's got something in it. Oh, that is lovely. Whatever they've put in this is making the water. Lovely to touch, but when I touch my hand afterwards, it's so soft and luxurious. That is absolutely brilliant. Well done, Lewilenka. I probably don't need this, but... I'm going to put it in anyway because I love my mini bath melts. But trust me, that bath bomb, the water is so unbelievably soft and my skin. Oh, so I don't need this. These are currently not stocked on the website, but they will be back when the weather cools down. So definitely check these out. But the bath bomb alone is absolutely brilliant. Look at this, everyone. This is the lemon and blueberry baked oats from the Touch of Nom cookbook. I've actually I've blown myself away with this one. I've put more blueberries on top than it told me to because you put half in the mixture and half on top when you've put it in here before you cook it. But I've got a lot of blueberries so I put extra on top. So I'm going to have that now at like 2 in the afternoon. Then I've got to get ready and then I've got to go to the supermarket. So that's probably where I'll hopefully show my face today. Hopefully. So I have a little bit of happy post here from, as you can see, the one coal. It is the candle. So I think I ordered it two weeks ago today and it arrived yesterday, but because my stories was full, to leave it till today. But I'm really looking forward to opening this. I'm going to set it up in my bedroom and go up earlier tonight so I can have it lit and do a face mask because I desperately need to do a face mask. So um, he's going to do, well do the tape like normal so I can get into it easily. Oh, 
so you would think. Oh. Cannot wait to get this out. I'm going to end up with peanuts everywhere, but it doesn't matter. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Sure that I just pressed record because I'm actually looking at the time ticking away as well. Because last Friday I didn't record and I was actually sat in exactly the same car park in space on the same car park doing a video and chatting away. And then when I came to edit the weekly vlog, it was like, Where's the footage gone? Because this idiot didn't press record, that is where it went. So it's Friday, it's tea time. I've just literally well I've been here 10 minutes. I'm tired. I've actually got a dress on today. I've got leggings on with it. And it looks good with leggings, but because I've put on kind of canvas type shoes, do you know, like Tom's? Um, they're like those, but like a cheaper version. And they're like a nude colour with a gold toe. I don't really like them, but I was like, what can I put on? I can't put on my trainers, like, because I wear like black Adidas court shoes, they're called. Um, it would look stupid like I could get away with it without the leggings and wear them with the dress or I could wear the leggings with trainers and a long top but I couldn't get away with this outfit that I've got on so I thought should I put my wedges on because my wedges would have looked amazing but like my toenails are not painted which no one's really going to look but I'd want them painted and also um, I'm tired and I'm a bit aching I thought walking around two shops in really high wedges it's not what I really want to do today, so I need to get some nice, like, comfortable, like, not granny comfortable, like, enough so I could walk around two shops in kind of sandal type things, um, because I don't have any, I just have what I've got on, and my wedged wedges, and I've also got, like, my mules that are, like, closed tone mules. So some lower mules would be nice with an open toe, would, that would be nice. And um, with some sandals, like, that would be nice. I keep saying nice a lot, don't I? Um, I opened a candle from the one call this morning, well this afternoon, and it was smashed. <sighs> Waited two weeks for that candle and she's not got any in stock. So she wants me to take pictures of the damage and send them so she could put a claim in. So now I'm going to have to wait for another candle if that's the road we're going to go down. I've got this on bought this ages ago and I love it, I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm going to wear that today and it actually goes with my dress. It's just like a tiered dress in black. If I wore it as a dress, I'd have to wear a layer underneath it because when it hit the light, it became not see-through, but you could see my body through it. So I'd have to wear a black slip underneath, which I've got. So I will wear it as a dress at some point because I did wear it, buy it to wear it as a dress because why would you buy a dress if you weren't going to wear it as a dress? And I am wearing it as a dress today, I'm just wearing leggings but I'm just going to go cash machine and then go to another shop and then I like to finish my shopping here but because I didn't go out yesterday I didn't pick up the cash which I normally do and then that's kind of my spending budget for the, the shopping basically so I'm going to get that and then I'm going to leave here go to another shop and come back here hopefully be on for seven half six would be good but I'm pushing it oh and breakfast was lovely I don't know, there was something about it that I didn't like. I think I put too many blueberries in it and they were a little bit sour. So maybe cut back on the blueberries next time. But yeah, I might have it tomorrow actually. Oh no, I'm happy. I'm a little bit down, but I'm happy here, uh, than normal, so. I need to edit Sunday's vlog. I've not done it, that I can remember. So I need to do that today. I'm gonna do it tonight actually. See that woman there? She's been there since well over an hour, sat there acting very suspicious. Um, couldn't keep her eyes off me when I came out of the shop. Um, just went in another shop, came out, she's like on the phone, but 
he's not waiting for anyone because they would have been out by now so very strange behavior i've just got back to the shop where i originally filmed today because as i said i came here for cash which i would have normally got yesterday on a thursday so then i could go straight to the other shop so i've done as much shopping as i can in the other supermarket i've been in another shop there was that woman really really acting very suspiciously like when i came out the first shop that i went in she was full on like watching me but when i looked she pretended she weren't watching then i was putting my shopping in my car she was watching me she watched me put the trolley back she watched me walk into the other shop she watched me come out the other shop then she's on the phone but she wasn't really talking much like her mouth was moving more than the words were coming out so and then when i left the car park she watched me if you're gonna watch me try and do it a little bit less suspiciously like don't park right next to me that'd be a good start so i am back at the shop and i'm gonna finish my shopping i'm not gonna be home for 7 30 like i want it to be um i think i've just been walking around shop slow and then the first shop like the tills were packed they were like I think they had like five tills on and like the people were queuing to go on the tills so unfortunately there isn't a self serve because I love my self serve supermarket checkouts so yeah I'm back here don't know what I want I didn't write a list my dad finally gave me a list because I asked him for a list half an hour later he hadn't give it to me I'm like can I have a list I'm going in the shop ten minutes later still I got it I'm like you've got five minutes I'm not waiting for you I spent, like, I've spent half my life waiting around for him because he tells me times and then I sit and wait and then he turns up an hour later than he said. Like, he used to do it to me all the time. Um, especially when I couldn't go out the house by myself. He'd be like, right, I'll come home for one. So I'd be ready for one. My bracelet. Um, I'd be ready for one. He went there, half one, quarter to two, two, half two. And I'd be waiting for him. I'd be like, you told me at one o'clock we could have done something else while you waited i'm like but why would i want to start something and you just turn up five minutes later because that could happen like it happened like a few times when i'd start to do something and he'd turn up and like well we're going i'm like but i start to do something well you knew we was going at such and such a time so either way i couldn't win he'd make me go and pick him up and he'd make me wait outside for an hour whilst he had another pint he did that for me to me for years and i've only recently stopped going and picking him up because it was like I didn't want to leave the house to begin with. He'd promised me I'd be ready. I'd drive to wherever he was and he'd get another pipe. Then he'd have a go at me because I wanted to leave. And he'd just take the, like, the PIWS out of me. And like things are slowly stopping. I'm not letting him to control me as much as he did. But he did. I'm going to give myself a challenge next week. And that's to get out by lunchtime on Friday. I remember when I had the doctor's appointment a month ago whatever on a friday and you know i was at my doctor's at like 10 past nine in the morning i'd left by 20 to 10 and i just went straight shopping so i was home for like well i went on once because my dad rang me and said something inappropriate down the phone about my doctor so i went home and had words with him because he called her a psychopath um and then um, I think I had a quick something to eat so I hadn't had breakfast and then I went and did some more shopping but I was on for like two um, and it was nice so like I used to go out about 12 or I used to even get out by three um, but it used to be like between one and two when I used to get out um, so you know I didn't get out till five today I've not felt great the last two days. I've not been really unwell. I've just been tired, but not that lethargic tired, just tired. And I think because I'm unmotivated, I'm just like, whatever, and it's taken me ages to get out. Like, I didn't even have to have a bath today because I had a bath yesterday and washed my hair yesterday. So it's not like I had that excuse because I think next Friday, if I, I think I'm potentially washing my hair next Friday, like, it depends on what I'm doing. Like, this week, Monday, Tuesday, I was at the doctor's, like, I had appointments, I didn't just, like, go. So Monday I washed my hair and I washed it Tuesday, even though it didn't need doing, I just did it. Um, like, I always like, if I know I've got an appointment, because you never know. Oh God, yeah, watch me, watch me. You never really know what the doctor's gonna wanna examine. Cause I've gone about one thing and I'd totally something different um, examined because 
you know, different things can like affect other things. So I always like to go like when I'm really clean. Well, not that I wouldn't go without a shower. Like even if I have an emergency appointment, I try and either ring before my shower or have a quick shower then ring. It depends what time I ring because if I ring at 20 past 11 and they want me to go then, I literally have a couple of minutes to like leave. Whereas a lot of the times what's happened is like the doctor's like, can you get here in 20 minutes? I'm like, I'll try. And then I'm like, oh my God, it takes 20 minutes to drive, drive there. I've not like had a shower or anything. So then it takes me half an hour to get there because then I've only got 10 minutes to get ready. But I have to have a shower, so yeah. But you do never know what they're going to examine. Like sometimes I go and I talk about things and I think she's going to examine me and she doesn't. So I'm like, then when I go, when I think, well, she didn't examine me last time I mentioned it, she bloody examines me. Like you never know what doctor's going to examine you were, when or how old. So yeah, if I know I've got an appointment, I will put more of an effort in. Also, if I went dressed how I feel, my doctor would know that there was a problem. Because they look at how you dress or how you present yourself. So I always like her and makeup done. So she knows I'm severely ill if I go and I've not done my hair or makeup. Or I've not done my makeup or I've not done my hair like she knows. Like that day she put me in hospital, I went without any makeup on. And when she saw me a week later, she went, you, you look much better than you did a week ago. So I must have felt like crap. <laughs> felt like crap when I got out though. I was ill like a long time afterwards. But I'm gonna, see, I'm skeptical that I'm gonna go in and I'm not gonna film myself again, facially. And I want to, but when I get home, I'm gonna, I've got a lot of shopping to put away. I've got to film it. And then I've got to cook something, because all I've had is breakfast, those oats, I didn't eat them all. Um, and I've just had like a sponge cake with chocolate chips in. I keep getting these ones because they're lovely. They buy milker, they didn't have them in that shop the other day. Um, so that's all I've had. Whatever I get in here now is what I'm having for my evening meal. But I'm really worried that I'm going to not film again and like... Have a sh I don't think it's going to be short because I've actually got something quite important next to me, you know. This contains something my doctor's done for me that's totally blown my mind. It'll blow a lot of people's minds if they find out. Um, now, I haven't talked to my doctor about who she's happy with me telling. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to say what she's done on here. I don't know if I personally want people to know what's going on because it's private. It's about my life and about something pretty epic that woman's doing for me. Like my doctor blows me away all the time. Like showing me that people, there are some really nice people in the world who really want to help, who will support me and be there when I need them to be and she's just doing something that shows how amazing she is how how selfless she is and how caring she actually is as well um, she actually must trust me a lot as well it's a two-way trust thing what we're doing um, but Something she's doing for me has involved her putting her personal details on where she lives, date of birth, etc, etc. And she knows I can view these things, obviously. Um, and she trusts me with this information. Um, but obviously, something she I'm giving to her, uh, something surrounding it is showing my level of trust for her. And I think she's showing her level of trust for me in return. Um, not in return but obviously what she's doing for me not many doctors would do I got told that by another doctor um, as I said on Monday I was in with two doctors I was booked in with another doctor and it's related to this and then my doctor came in um, after the other doctor talked to me at length and yeah then I saw my doctor Tuesday and yeah just 
shows me that there are some she's just got the trolley that I wanted it's because I'm chatting away for work she's got a buddy jumper on and a coat what is wrong with people are we in a buddy dress just shows that there are some really nice people out there and shows she trusts me it's nice to be trusted um, I've never done anything that would show anyone not to trust me because I'm very trustable I'm gonna go walk over there and get a trolley and go the long way in but yeah she just I just want to take this thing to like so everyone knows I think she's amazing and she's done a lot for me this last year and I wouldn't be without her I know she upsets me at times but she gets frustrated with me when I can't do or don't do things and yeah I've always said that like even when I said like she's upset me and stuff I've always said I don't have a problem with her and I don't she's amazing I don't have any bad words to say about her and if anyone's lucky to ever have my doctor then they will know just how amazing she actually is and how nice she is and how caring and selfless I'm gonna go in the shop but I'm skilling so super humid me humid um is now gonna do the Audi form and then put it away and then do the Tesco one and put it away and do the B&M one and put it away then at like midnight I can eat um, I got these because they're super cute. I'm hoping that is a cream and not um, a marshmallow because I don't think it'd be nice if it's marshmallow. Um, one grain rice and coconut rice. Two, two salmon fillets for my dad. Stay. Olive selection for my dad. Two gourmet minty glam burgers for me. Had them a couple of weeks ago. They're amazing. I only have one at a time. I wouldn't have two. Beef and red wine casserole and chicken jambalaya for my dad. Barbecue beef kebabs again for me. I had them a couple of weeks ago if you watched the vlog. I have two a time with something with it as a main meal. Super good. Sweet mini peppers. Mediterranean chicken sizzlers. Never had them. They're for me. Um, they're for me. Um, Texan barbecue pork shoulder steaks. They're for Sunday for me and my dad. No, my dad's by the way. Doing my dad's in case I didn't say. Pop outs again for me. Greek festive for my dad. Got these last week in different flavours. I got a strawberry cheesecake, blueberry muffin, and them ones. So I got them and them. And like my nails broken, that's why I don't want to point with that finger. A big one of blueberries, even though I've still got half of one of them left from last week. Look how tiny and cute this little sun lotion is. Um I'm fair skinned, I get burnt easily. I avoid the sun often because I don't go out. But in case one day I went out like today, I've got some of my arms out. If I was in the sun, I would probably need this. And I love how cute and small it is. It's got a strawberries, which are the best yogurt drinks. I don't think these are as good as like the Actimel or the, what are the ones called that are like, Oh, it don't matter. Yakult. I like the Yakult blue ones. But I got them. I got original. I've had one of these just before I started filming. I've not had one since I was 21. Some of you who watch this will know my age. So you can work out how long it has been. Fat free natural yoghurt. That was one of the main ingredients in that oat thing I showed you this morning. Glorious gate greens and sides. I was going to eat it when I came out of the shop. But I forgot. Um, a mix of edinarme, beans, sugar snap peas, sugar, spinach and seeds and a pea puree. I love that smell actually. 0% Greek yoghurt, cucumber, spring onions, cocktail vine tomatoes, stuffed cherry peppers and marinated tomatoes, sweet chilli sauce, two cans of diet red thunder, I got a Brazilian barbecue marinade and a smoky Texan. You've already seen what I've got. I haven't got any plain chicken, so these will be put to one side for when I do have plain chicken. One a day, I've even allergy relief for my dad. Paracetamol, ibuprofen, 12 bottles of water. These are the same size as a can. Two packs of dental sticks. Tropical Blast, sugar free, which is basically wilt. Diet Coke, strawberry, which I've had last few weeks well i've had it for about three weeks now and it's really good beautiful pretty flowers i got a miniature rose for 179 they had other colors but i went for this one 
and I spotted this last week and I didn't realise it was no added sugar so I didn't get it. I remember when I was little and I absolutely adored cream soda but I wasn't really allowed it. So I'm going to see what it's like now as an adult. And that is my Aldi shopping. Oh God help me. I told you I liked loads of blueberries like. Who knows what I'm gonna do with the fridge? <laughs> do I know? Still got some coconut rice there. I know they're going in the bin. And that. Oh god, and that. Oh god, that's not good. See, I've got yogurt. But I'm gonna make it again that in the morning or whenever I can get up. So yeah. So I've got strawberries because I forget about them. Oh my god, the more expensive ones last week. So I'm showing the Asda shopping. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm hungry and I'm knackered. I got four fruity tea cakes, quadruple chocolate cookies. What I've shown you so far is for me. Shaving gel for me. I love the treacle moon stuff. I don't get to use it because I'm always either in a Ravana bath or a House of Ashes bath. But you can use bubble bath at the same time. So the next bath that I run, I'm going to put some bubbles in it. <laughs> um, water infusions by Original Source. Not tried any of these. This was an offer for a pound. All the scents were an offer. There was two that I desperately wanted, but I just picked up the grapefruit and mint one. I got a baby leaf salad for my dad. This is mine. I didn't get it because it was reduced because it's only got 38p off anyway. I got it as I've never had it and because I can put it in a pan because normally it's microwave or oven but it's microwave or pan so I'm going to quickly cook that in about 10 minutes when I got rid of all this. Beef casserole, 6 quart yogurts, not added for a few weeks because I've not been on offer but they're back on offer for 60p. Dry cured roast ham, sea sensational half well full size slices, dairy milk giant buttons, 10 mild cheddar slices, Blueberries because I forgot I got a giant one and I have half a one in the fridge already so it's going to be blueberries all the time. <laughs> Three caramel macchiatos, a filtered milk. I got a plug in for behind my front door the other day and now I've got one for behind my bedroom, well outside my bedroom door because I miss having them. And when I put the one in behind the front door it smells amazing so I was like if I remember I'm going to pick one up because I went off for 250 These are for my dad to take to work. Um, Callum. I didn't tell you what is like I didn't say what was mine but it's all mine though except for is it all mine? Or oh, the bread's from my dad. Mine. Probably my dad. Um no my dad. And then again I forgot I got strawberries at Aldi, so I've got two because it was two for three pound or two fifty each, so you might as well buy the second one for fifty P. These are for my dad. Hi for my dad. This is for me, I'm gonna munch as much as I can now. So hungry. Another fill of milk. A Morello cherry lemonade. I keep seeing it and I keep putting it down because it's lemonade. I don't like lemonade, but my friend had it and she said it's not super lemonadey tasting, so I'm gonna give that a try. So milk for cereal, it's always the chilled one because I don't like the long life one. Four Pepsi Maxes for my dad, and that is everything that I got. And I can't wait to sit down. I'm gonna leave the BM store. There, I'm gonna put all this away cut my teriyaki beef and have some bread so I've had some bread I've had three slices of my tiger bread so I'm going to show you what I got from B&M then I'm going to cut my beef teriyaki and have a cold drink and sit down I feel like I've been stood up all day and I haven't so I've got two cherry Pepsi Maxis if I'd had a trolley or I was getting a bigger lot of shopping I would have got more because obviously this is just Saturday Sunday so I'm going to need to go and get more I got tomato ketchup even though I want the M&S one but I don't know when I'm next going there and I've completely run out so I've got the Heinz one. I actually bought some vial and some double sided tape to make my own version of this before I knew this existed. So I've got this and I'm going to give it a try and if it works it's going to go on several windows um, because I don't like daddy long legs and moths I'm actually petrified of them so I'm going to, don't know which window I'm going to do it on. I want to see what you put it up with and see if there's any gaps. If it's got tape all the way around, it's going to be perfect. Yes, avoid those. Um, 
I got some Milka Choc Chip Cake Bars, I don't know I said it. Um, I've had one, I had one when I came out of B&M because I was so hungry. All I've had is those oats and then that and then I've just had three bits of bread. But these are so good. Didn't have them in the other day so I grabbed a box today. I picked up one of these because it looked good. I got charged £2 because it was meant to be in a packet of 12 so it needs to go back, but a pack of my picture frames that I bought last time I went to B&M, two of them were smashed. So they can go back and get exchanged for another pack. And these can go back and they can either give me the 12 pack or just give a refund if they don't have 12 pack. I've wanted scrub buddies for ages, like since last year. They've never had them in my B&M until now. So they have the pink and the blue. And I typically am always drawn to, do you know if there's a choice, I always pick pink. But I just wanted the blue. I would like a single pink one, but I'm having the blue. So these are nothing like minky, because the minky, the green part's nothing like that. Um, they're nothing like the Mark Spencer's one, because the yellow part, which is the soft part on the M&S ones, um, is kind of like, I'm going to show you now, I've not had that yet like that it's kind of it's not a microfiber it's a totally different material and I like these this one's not like the other one I wore out like I really hammered it so I've not been doing much cleaning lately just the basic because I've been ill I had to sort the flowers out yeah um but yeah I love that this is a microfiber because I like wiping stuff with microfibers and I like that I've got the scrubby side as well, so they're only one ninety nine. I'm really happy that I've actually finally got some. So, oh god, I'm just putting it with my buddy. I'm still not using this bad daddy. So, one of mine, one that does that, died on me two nights ago and I've been using matches. I actually got it from Tesco. It's not actually lasted that long. I know I light a lot of candles, but I expected more out of it. Because these last ages, but then again, like, I have one of these, I think I have a grey one in my bedroom, or red. I think it's the grey one in my bedroom, that's like that. Um, I don't like much in my bedroom, and I have a red one um, in the room that I call my office. But because I don't use them often, that's probably why they're not running out. I like that, that, because it bends, and that's a smaller one. So, I only went for one, but now I have backups, but... I think that's the one I'm going to be using. So I picked up these. Every time I see any, they've, if they've got any long go, I always pick them up because they don't always have these type of capsules in, the Miss Bessel ones. I bought it. I would prefer a five over six. Typically, I would get a five, but this is all they had in long go. And when I got home, I discovered it was compostable. So it's better for the environment. It takes 12 weeks. So... If they have these next time and I like them, because I will be having one tomorrow, I will be, because it's 10 o'clock now, I even though I've not had a coffee today, I'm not going to start drinking coffee at 10 o'clock, even though it's tempting. So I'm going to give these a try tomorrow, because they're good for the environment. I also got my favourite washing up liquid. Hi everyone. So, it's just after midnight. But as I've not gone to bed, I'm going to call it Friday still because it's not Saturday until I've slept and got up again. I got home and I did lots of filming, like um, like showing my shopping. I've had, a, I've had a lot of bread. I've had some of that teriyaki beef. I just, I don't know if it was me or if I just, I don't know. Um, I've only had a couple of drinks non-alcoholic I mean I'm tired my legs are tired I think it was those shoes I had on there's no cushioning in them so my feet are so like tired so um I'm just sat here I just had a look at what I filmed this week there's um I did some filming the other night when I was in bed because I was like oh I don't think I filmed much this week and and some of the parts of the clips, one of my eyes is just like more closed than the other one and I think you can tell I'm really tired in it. So I don't know if I'm going to keep the clip. It depends on how much I film like this weekend I guess. But I'm pretty sure that after now 
I can't imagine I would physically be on camera any of this weekend because I don't typically do my makeup at weekends. I know, um, I think it was last Sunday that I filmed a daily. I'm pretty sure I put some makeup on, but I think the last clip that I filmed was me without makeup on. I did actually start editing that. I remembered that I'd started editing it um, because in one of the clips from this week that I'm filming now, um, I did say that I started editing it. I think I started editing it Monday in the bath, but I don't think I got very far, but at least I know I've edit started the edit because I was meant to edit it this evening, but I didn't even get to sit down until about 10 o'clock. I've not sat down for that long. Um, and this is the problem, like what I was saying earlier, that I need to get out earlier on a Friday. I really do because I'm getting in at like eight, half eight. I think it was like 20 past eight or something when I got in or maybe later. And then I'm having to unpack the shopping and put it in the fridge and like potentially throw stuff away. And yeah, and then I'm sitting down, it's like 10 o'clock at night. Whereas if I went out at one, I'd be sitting down about four and you know nothing's getting done around the house like the last few weeks i've been doing little bits and pieces here and there like my bedroom's like looking better than it's done for a while i'm throwing little bits and pieces out like some bags of old clothes went to the tip today most of the freezer stuff got thrown out because i was buying stuff and putting it in there and then it was in there six twelve months and it weren't getting used like I was separating chicken breasts and then I was buying more so I need to be more mindful about how much I'm spending or what I'm using and like have a look in the freezer and like can I use anything out the freezer because a lot of stuff got wasted today and it's like it's a waste of money and then I go and spend all that on shopping and some of that will get thrown out so I need to like start eating better, being cle more clever with what I'm buying I've bought stuff but I haven't bought stuff to go with it like I didn't buy any vegetables so I don't know what I'm going to do to go with these meals like I've got rices but on Sunday I've got that like, pork stuff so I'm going to have to see what vegetables I've got like have I got anything now I don't know um, so yeah I want to get out next Friday I want to start to I really want to get do you know what look it makes my shoulders look big because I'm holding I want to try and get out like earlier I hate wearing like a vest top because my arms look huge because of how I'm holding the camera but I want to like start getting into a better not routine but going to bed earlier like I would like to be in my bedroom by this time like one at the latest asleep by two or three like I'm going to bed like three in the morning and like do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want that for myself. Um, so, I'm going to try and work on that over the next couple of months because I know you can't get into routines just like that. And I'm sick. I don't know when I'm going to have good days and bad days. Like, I want to, like, sort the house out over the next few days. So, you know, I'm going to try and get a lot done tomorrow, health permitting. The same Sunday, the same Monday, the same Tuesday. And I just want to get it sorted. My bedroom will take about 10 minutes to completely sort itself out um the bathroom just needs a shower screen washing cleaning and probably the sink this room's the biggest tip this is going to take the longest my office room i've, I've started on it is neater than it was it just needs some other stuff sorting out and the kitchen side where there's loads of stuff next to the cooker that side i need to sort out and then give the house a little bit of a clean i know that like sounds quick and simple but it won't be I was meant to sit and write like what needs doing for, for each room. I was meant to sit and write that today, but I don't know, like time just seems to like go fast and I've got nothing to show for it other than the shopping. And then I'm knackered and then it's like, oh, I don't want to do anything. But yeah, I don't think I will be on him. Like, I don't know, like I used to film a lot, as you'll know. But I think because I'm doing Insta stories and I'm chatting a bit more to people, I don't need this as much as I once did. I'm still going to do my vlogs, of course I am. I'll still do like daily ones every now and then, like, you've, like you will have seen the last one by now. It wasn't anything special because I forgot to film and 
then I didn't really do much, I just had a bit of a chat, but these are all chatting, it's not me showing you me doing things anymore, or not that I really showed you much, but, you know, I've just got to, like, do what I can when I can, and, you know, obviously, I was in a really bad space a year ago, and I'm not saying I'm amazing now, like, I'm still not amazing, but I'm trying to, like, get better and improve my life, and pull away from bad things and bad people and it is hard because when you've done things or been in situations for years and years and years it is hard to get out and I'm realising that but I'm also starting to see like the toxic people and things that have happened that shouldn't have happened and continue to happen uh, but it is hard like I've been told about like this is what's going on that's what's going on and hearing it's hard and then realising it's hard and then knowing you've got to like get away from it when it's all you've known that like, that's hard but i'm gonna try and do a, a sunday or a tuesday video every week obviously the week just gone you've got a vlog on the sunday what you're gonna get this coming sunday for you or the monday i don't know which day it is i don't know because i've got no plans of filming another daily vlog so if i was gonna do a daily vlog it would be either tomorrow or Sunday and it would go up the Sunday after you've watched watched this or the Tuesday if I didn't get it edited for whatever reason but I don't want two daily vlogs in one go but then again I'm sat here thinking what am I going to get up for the next one the next Sunday video or Tuesday whatever it's going to be like what am I going to do um there's some story times I want to film but I want to film it when I finally get my hair done. I mean, I don't know what it's been going to be. Because I have got videos where I've got this kind of fringe going on and roots. But I don't know if I feel happy doing it. But we'll see. Because I've not heard from a hairdresser. And it's been three weeks. So I might end up doing a video where my fringe is like that. If I do, you know, I'll film it one day next week. On a day when I've done my hair. And had my bath early, en early enough to do it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say. I'm gonna chill out for an hour or so and then go to bed. I'm probably gonna sleep really well because I am tired. But yeah, if I film any clips where I'm not in it, obviously they'll come after this. Um, I'm probably potentially gonna show you some food, who knows? But yeah, just I'm gonna say thank you for watching now, but you never know. I'll probably do some, I might do some talking videos, I might show you something, but you might not see me, but this is me, thank you for watching, and also please subscribe, my number's gone up a little bit, like I'm desperately trying to get to a thousand, I feel like it's a never ending journey to one thousand, but god, if I stay on long enough on this channel, like I might get my thousand, yeah.